Uh, ben is passing around tape, and uh, you have to work with it with gloves on. Super hard. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna take your piece of paper with your drawing on it, and you're gonna take your tape, and you're gonna put it on to the paper, and then you're gonna try to peel it off. And you see how I peeled off? Can you guys kind of see? That I peeled off a layer, but it's still on the paper. I peeled off a layer of the graphite. All right? Now, the way this experiment works, and we're not going to get down this far, but if we could do this like 20 times, we would have a layer that was one atom thick. But we're only going to do this twice because we don't have enough time. So, and when you get your paper, I want you to put it down just like I did and peel it up. But again, I want you to not touch it with your fingers. Make sure you have your gloves on. Then take your second piece of tape, which mine is totally messed up. And then I want you to put it on top of your first piece like this, nice and smoothy. And smooth it out. And then peel it apart again. All right. Okay, I will come around and show you something. Yeah. Can you take your second Yep. So then, you're, yeah, your second piece of tape, you're putting up against your piece of tape and then unpeeling it. It is. Now you're supposed to stick that piece of tape to the second piece of tape. And then, yep, you stick them together, and then you're going to peel them apart. And I want you to put it onto the glass slide, sticky side down, graphite side down, and then rub your finger three times on it and peel it off of the slide. So once you have it, then you peel it. No, that's good because you're you're peeling layers off, so it's not going to look as dark. That's perfect. So now you take your second peel and you're going to stick it to your side, and then you're going to press down with your finger and rub it back and forth three times, and then unpeel the tape. So press it down. No, oh, press it down. And rub it three times. So back and forth. Yep. One, two. Okay. And then you're going to peel up your tape. You're good. Yep. It's going to be a thin layer, so you're not going to be able to see it very well. So just wait now. Don't touch that side anymore. Ashlyn, make sure you don't touch that side. And you're going to be doing it on that side. It's like the perfect solution to our awesome problem. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and put... Oh, so let me tell you how it works. Um, as Ann Lynn explained, uh, right, we have these, these atoms. And does anybody remember what links atoms together? Yeah. It was like an atomic bond. Right? Great, yeah. Uh, put your hand in the air so I can high-five it. All right. So uh, this is like these, these atoms have atomic bonds that link them together. It's just the thing that gives them structure. 
Uh, well, the cool thing is, is that they are always moving. Atoms are always shaking around. Look at them shaking around. Um, again, scientists love models. This is our shaky atom model. Um, so no, no. The atoms in your body, the atoms that make up everything around us, are moving. But they're moving in such a tiny little way that it actually looks like everything's staying still. Mindful. But the cool thing is the Raman can see this. They can, it can see the way that atoms move, and every atom bond moves differently. So what it does is it shines a laser, makes the atoms move and dance around, and then it can tell you what that dancing looks like. Uh, with, that's okay. Uh, with this, um, this, this readout. So uh, what I'm going to have you guys do is you guys can actually just come gather around. Make sure that there's enough room for everybody to see. Okay, all right, okay. Everyone needs to take like a half a step Here, back. If you step can't see, uh, don't worry. Uh, we'll rotate everyone out so that you will be able to see. Here, I'm going to move this chair back so you guys can yeah, see. Yeah, please. Get that chair out of the way. Okay, does everyone see this? I see nothing. This looks like a little red squiggly line, and it's got this peak right there. Uh, yeah, it's got this spike. So this is what the readout looks like. Uh, it, it, I know it doesn't look like it's that fancy, but it is incredibly fancy. What this means is, is it's telling us that there's just enough carbon uh, in this region to make it look like graphene. Now, I imaged graphene earlier. I didn't use your samples. I used this beautiful sample here that a scientist made for us. So there it is. Now, it looks, uh, here's the cool thing. It looks blue, but that blue is actually the silicon that it's sitting on. When I move it in the light, and I'll do this for everybody so you can see it, uh, do you see there's a dark patch? There's like that dark spot. Uh, yeah, 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 because I'm going to move it so that you can see it. There you go. There's a dark spot, like right in the middle. It's like suddenly like a dark blue. See that when I move the light around it? Okay, so that dark blue, that's actually the graphene, okay? It is so thin that we can't see it with our own eyes, but we can see the way that the light interacts with it. Okay? So, I image this. This is made by a scientist. So it looks like this. So what we're going to do, this is what we call our control, right? It's what we're going to measure up the experiment we just did against. Right? It's the way that we know that what we made is going to work. If you can't see right now, don't worry. We're going to rotate yeah, through. Yeah, but actually, when you've done a couple people, you can set it. Um, and we're going to see how this stacks up. Okay, so uh, I use my really cool, this is what it looks like, and I'll, I'll walk you through exactly how it works. I'm going to take out this slide, put in this slide. Okay, and, okay, so I'm going to look through here, and uh, as is, uh, as should happen, I don't really see anything now. What I'll do. There we go. Here, let me. I'll show you guys what I'm looking at. One second. Um. Stop pushing, Bailey. Okay. So see that? You guys can see that. You guys over here. You guys can. Uh, you guys. Uh, you'll. You'll see that soon enough. This is what your sample looks like. Okay. Those little spots right there are tiny little spots of graphene. Okay, so now let's just see material. the strongest material on Earth. It's little, right? But it's super strong. So now what we're going to do is we're going to collect this sample. <coughs> and what is your name? Ashlyn. Ashlyn. You want to spell it for me? Oh, I am. All right. Okay, so let's just see how it works. So now what's, what's happening now is this. There's a laser right in here, and the laser's firing through the sample. Ooh, look at that giant uh, peak right there. That is pretty sweet. Uh, yes, add it to a new window. We have this nice peak, and it says, like, hey, look, there's graphene in there. There's carbon in there. So you did it. Nice work. So, uh, Ashlyn's group, I'm going to ask you guys to go. And you guys, now that you guys need to take off your clothes, unless you're loving wearing them. And when you're done with your survey, come on up, and I will trade you your survey for one of my cool pencils. You can pick what color you want. 
This is what graphene would look like if we folded it into a tube. It's called a carbon nanotube. Well, that's a picture of a carbon nanotube. So I'll trade you your survey for a carbon nanotube pencil. Yep. Okay, ready? Yeah. So, file? Yes, hello. Do we get to keep on? You can have a pencil, yeah. You don't have to. It's not sharp. What's your name? Like C-O-N-O-R. C-O-N-O-R. Actually, do I have All right. Do I have right. Cap the caps the locks on there. Ooh. So that's yeah. fine. Yeah. It's Connor. Yeah. And? <laughs> oh, yours is a very interesting one. Okay. So why do you think yours looks different? So we still have that peak, so it still is reading graphing. But what do you think, what do you think, what, uh, so we talked about, right, you're different people. So what might happen here? What I did is yeah. I just did a bunch, a bunch of layers of just layers. Okay. Okay. color. It's really hard, so maybe it has so much graphene on it. That, that could be the case. That could definitely be the case. So these are things that, yes. that uh, the scientists, we always try to figure out how to best categorize things. Well, we do know that you need carbon.